Now we have just a few final beautiful finishing touches in our game of awesomeness. Should that be its new name? Maybe. And hopefully yours looks like mine behind me. If not, you should probably watch the other videos in this series because you'll have no idea what's going on. With all that being said, let's get going. Let's start by tackling player health, and then let's go ahead and add in left and right movement to kind of give our game a Space Invaders feel. And then I think we will have it. For health, for a game like this, there's absolutely more than one way to do it. What I'll do in sprites, let's go into HUD, heads up display, and notice they have this with the bars. Right? I found these bars fairly frustrating to put, and then also sizing them is not really the game I'm going for. I'm going to go for a more traditional health bar, and to do that, first we need an image over here, create UI image, and this image is going to be the background to the health bar. Mm, that width is a bit slacking. No. Sure. I'm going to set mine at 260. Somewhere up here is good. And you do want this as an image, otherwise it makes things complicated. So um, I'm going to call this health background. Boom. All right. And then for the actual health are these little bars, but as a sprite. So let me just drag one out here. And let's fix the sizing of them. Let's first make sure they're HUD over everything. And then just to start us off, maybe two and two. And let's drag it down. So maybe something like this. And so X is maybe too big, 1.8 and 2.2. .2. And it's just going to be what you think looks good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do 2.5 for mine and 1.8. Now for the X position, 4.8 maybe for where I am. Nope. 4.75 and I like 4.43. Yes. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. And what I'll do is I'm going to add the same amount to X each time. So let's see, what if I add 10? That's not enough. So how about 12? 12 is looking good. You might want to do more than that. Of course, it's up to you. And then I'm going to duplicate again. And I'm going to add 12 again, which would get us to 4.99. And if you want this exact perfect, you do want to do each one of these on their own. And this is looking good so far, so I'm just going to go whoop, whoop, grab them all, do a duplicate. And it looks like we have some overhang, so let me grab away that guy, and goodbye. And perfect, we have a health bar. And so you could do every two hits they lose a block, every one for clarity and ease right now. I'm just going to do every hit they lose a block. And let's go ahead and title this first one Health Bill. And then I'm going to grab all of these others and just drop it in. And there's a few ways we could do this. We could use Get Child, but honestly, it's easier to make an array with them for the health. So in Game Controller, I'm going to do a public game object let's well no we want the game object for the sprite render okay so game object and health ill give me that capital uh, okay save all of this and go back to the game now okay there it is and we have 13 so we have that one and 
You could also create an array. What I originally did with this was uh, use child. So I would get all the children of the object and get rid of them that way. But I think for learning Unity, it's more clear like this. You could do a multiple select, but you know. There we go, all filled out. So I'm gonna make sure to save that. And now we have that array. So when the player does get hit, we can here where it's gonna be controlling our health. Mm -hmm. We can hide items. So what we'll do is int health, uh, and we don't really need to set it equal to anything because what we're going to have it equal to is on the at the start of the game. Health fill dot length, and then we will know that this is well equal to the length of this. We're going to want it minus one, though, because of index values. All right. So with health set up now. Let's do a public void player shot. Health minus minus, right? We're going to drop health by one. And then what are we going to do? We need to take away a health bar. So Let's actually, for clarity, call this health index. And let's de disable the sprite renderer, therefore hiding the health bar. Let's save all this. And now we want to have this function called it run where we know the laser explodes. And that's going to be in our player script right here. So the laser is going to blow up, and then we want to subtract from the score, uh, the not the score, the life of the player. So good thing that we already have a collision set up for us. What we need is just like we have an enemy. This, and I'm going to be lazy again and grab my game controller, go over to player, and paste. I'm not going to have it equal anything. I'm just going to say, go grab game controller, get the game controller component, and then player shot. Run our player shot function. All right, that's looking good. Let's hit save. Let's just make sure we got the naming right, and then it's time to test. Health index minus minus. Ooh, since we're doing this at first above, we can actually not subtract one up here. We wouldn't want to. All right, now let's save everything and test it out. Ah, oh no, I'm getting shot. I can fire back though. Ta-da, and now we zero out the score. We restart the game. The screen goes black. I don't know. It's kind of up to you. But we now have a super duper awesome tank game. I hope you made something really awesome. If you did, make sure to tell me about it below. Uh, comments, questions, all of that type of stuff. Again, all the assets are in the description. Make sure to like, make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies and I think makes the world better. Maybe I'll make another set of enemies. Ooh, you could also make a space invaders with this. Pa, pa, pa. So the last step in this that I want to do to make it feel like Space Invaders, you need to be able to move left to right. We can turn, which is great, but let's make sure we can also move left to right. That way we can really build out the enemies and make it, well, more challenging. So to do that, we only need to add a bit of code, honestly. Let's see here. Let's take a look. Oh, nah, just, yeah, here we are. And what we'll need to add is to the player script, player script. And there's not much here. What we need, though, is to add some variables to allow us to control that movement. So I'm going to do a private bool. 
And then we're going to do the same thing for left. So I just controlled C, control V. And then let's go ahead and do a move speed. If you want to control this in the inspector, you would do public. So I'll just do that. And that's looking great. So we're going to use two things. We're going to use update and fixed update. Updates used to catch user input. Update runs more frequently than fixed update. And so that way, if the user hits the left key or the right key, it's more likely to be caught and caught more rapidly. Fixed update is predictable, which is what we need for movement. Because if you're going to have the player move, I don't know, five pixels left, uh, when they're when the user's holding the key down, you want it to happen at a regular rate. Otherwise, it comes off jerky and sporadic. So, for update void, right arrow key, left is going to be similar. So, Control C, Enter, Control V, left and left. And so again, why we're doing this is because we want to know when the user hits the arrow key. So when they do, input get key is going to return true for right. And once that's true, once we know that, we're going to use fixed update to keep the movement looking regular, looking stable, not looking jerky. Fixed update. And actually, let's define vector three position up here, no reason to define it over and over again, and get rid of this. And if, so if, good old time dot delta time. So if right is pressed, position x will be equal to position x, that's what plus equals means, it's going to be equal to whatever position dot x used to be equal to, plus move speed times time because depending on how much time has passed we need to move that much and uh, since if you haven't guessed uh left is going to be similar copying that and control v left and then of course for left we're not adding we're going to be subtracting and oh that's looking great oh we need to make sure to update the transformer There we are, equals that new position. And that should do it. Let's hit save and see. Look. Oh, I need to move. And now we got a bit more of a game on our hands. It's kind of hard to do with the mouse, so you might want to pick one or the other. I also would probably bump this tank back just a little bit. I'm in game something more back here, but that's going to be up to you. Awesome. So now we have a super fun, super awesome game. I hope you do too. If you do, please tell me about it below. Remember, all the assets are free and available and in the description. Make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies. It makes the world better and stuff. And yeah, if you have questions, comments, concerns, funny jokes, want to tell me about something cool you made, make sure to comment. All right, well, I'm going to keep playing this because... Ooh, maybe I'll add a ton more. Oh, we could totally make Space Invaders.